Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. So I will be sharing another ephemera holder idea. And this one started with something I saw a few people making recently, and I just loved it. They made it with the large 12 by 12 sheets of paper, but I wanted to kind of cut it down to size. So I'll show you how to make one in this video, but I also wanted to mention that this is um, a design project for Digital Collage Club, and I will link any coupon codes below that I have for you if you wanted to purchase anything from the shop. So to get started, um, I just, I wanted to say it was so funny. I had this video already filmed, so you will see different kind of parts of it um, that I have um, edited together. And then I got inspired to make, you know, an additional piece. So then I had to re-record the intro, etc. So that's why you'll kind of see uh, different pieces here. But again, um, by the end of the video, you'll know how to make one of these, okay? So to get started, um, this was the original design that I saw everyone making. And then of course I had to kind of tweak it and make it my own. Um, so let me just get started with this one. You may have seen this already. Um, like I said, it was done with larger sheets of paper, but I wanted to make it with the eight and a half by 11 because um, I like to use digitals as well. So this kind of gives you options to use your photocopy paper um, when you print on it. Okay, so to get started, you see how this kind of flips open. There's a pocket in the front and I've added just several ephemera pieces, a little sticker, and then this one is a little quote from, um, I'm going to call it DCC, so I don't have to keep saying Digital Collage Club every single time. Um, did some stamping, etc. I've used some um, items also from your creative studio. So you see it flips open and then you have your pockets all over the place, which is what I love about these um, holders because you can send so much stuff in mail to friends. So you've got a large pocket in the center here. And then you have your, oh goodness, this will go in for sure. And then you have your additional ephemera pieces. This again is another quote from DCC. And then here I've added another pocket where I put just some stickers in the center. You can see that there. Okay, so there's that. And then again on this side, more pockets, of course, and more places to put things. Okay, so this is just a little bag I added um, where I added another tag to it. If I forget anything, I will link it in the description box below or I will type it out in the top here so you can read about it. Again, another DCC. Oh, I love this postcard. And then more ephemera pieces. So you can kind of get an idea how loaded these can become, right? Then you flip it over. And then again, you have more layering and more pockets. Another DCC digital. And then we have just more ephemera pieces. I love this one. I attached it with... Um, Oh my gosh, I have this really awesome, uh, what is it called again, if I can find it? No, it's not here, um, but I'll show it to you guys later. It's um, it's Staples, yep, yeah, here it is. It's Staples, but without Staples, it is so cute. So anyways, that's why that's attached without a staple. I love that. Okay, so again, this was a DCC little tag. Will it fit back in? We shall see. So. That was the original design that I saw um, a few ladies making. So then I um, I thought about kind of flipping things around a little bit and this is what I came up with, okay? So just different designs. And the reason I call this a twist of um, those designs as well is because again, I've made it into those accordion um, ephemera holders, just like the one I shared with you guys with, um, you guys with the uh, paper clutch that I just recently did, the paper clutch um, ephemera holder. I'll link that video below if you haven't seen it. But so anyways, that's what I came up with. And so I grabbed um, a digital from DCC. And so I made the base for this one. Okay. And I'll show you how I put this base together. But the project will actually finish one of these with the um, accordion pockets. This one does not have the accordion pockets yet, but you can see the gorgeous design of the vintage maps. I was just so inspired to make that. And I had some, you know, ephemera relating to traveling. So of course I decided to add some pieces to that. It's just a cute little envelope, a ticket, 
and then here we have just more additional pieces packing list this one um, also the leftover bit from this I just made it into those double tags and you can see just how the the printer kind of inked a few of the pages a little bit more than it should have so there is this one on this side and then of course the other side is also decorated and then I have more pieces here this is uh, DCC floral printable and what I did is I added it to vellum and made a little tag see how cute that looks so that is also part of um, the DCC printables and then we have another one here this is just an envelope of course relating to the theme another tag and then I have this kind of packing list that I added to it so that is how much you can load these little ephemera packs pen pal mail and um, so I'm going to show you how to make the base pages and then um, or make the base of it and then also show you how to add the um, accordion pockets to it as you can see here so yes I, I had so much fun making these my friends and um, I hope you enjoyed the share as I said I've kind of patched together a few of the videos because I already pre-recorded this one but I wanted to just make another one because I was so inspired and of course I'll finish that off later I hope you enjoy the video okay so the first thing you need is any paper you want to use and you have to cut it in square so this happens to be eight and a half by eight and a half which is the size that I was able to cut this magazine page to so you make a triangle with it and like I said super easy to do so you've made your triangle now to fold the sides which is what's going to make your little pockets you can use a scoreboard or you can just grab a ruler and kind of measure but I'm going to show you how I do this with my scoreboard and you can see now um, the length of the folded triangle is almost like 12 inches almost but not quite so I'm scoring at four and then I'll score at eight Okay, and then that's just going to make the two folds to make those pockets. So let's fold at our score marks. And like I said, these are so fun to make. You can use any paper that you have on hand, just um, and also any size you want to make as long as it's a square piece of paper and that's what's going to help. Okay, so you've got your folds, now you open it up again, and then the folds that you just made, you fold one up and you fold one down. And now you can see the shape of these um, pockets that we were talking about. Now, if you fold it on the inside, you would have pockets on the inside of your little, whatever this is called. <laughs> but I fold it, of course, on the outside. And so then you've got your pockets hanging out and you can add ephemera to the outside pockets plus add your accordion on the inside. I'm going to show you how to add the accordion pockets on the inside. Now you see how the shape is looking here. I'm going to show you the process again with the eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that are printed with the DCC digital. So you can see the white side on the other side cut it to eight and a half by eight and a half and that's the one that we will be using to make the base fold it in half into a triangle shape okay so pick your side depending on the you know the images the way your images are facing on your paper and then you score it on the long side at four inches and eight inches and then you fold it at the score line to make the little pockets and envelope looking piece there okay so that's your initial folds then you open it back up and you grab the folds that you just scored and move one to the center and the other one fold it over and here's your shape with your pockets just like I showed you with the other one but I just wanted to show you with the printable because I know some people were going to probably get confused and I just want to show you the process on how to make it okay so I'll get back to the original one
This one was also made with an eight and a half by eight and a half sheet of paper, which is the magazine page. I'm just showing you the width is about four inches and the inside um, where we're going to put our pockets, it's about three and three quarter inches tall. So that's the measurements for how we are going to add the accordion pockets. So now I'm going to do the um, pocket pages. And again, it's very similar to the one I showed you before. You cut it to fit the width of your pockets. So for this one, you want to make sure that you stay within the square um, of your envelope here. As you can see what I'm showing you within the square. So you cut your pages to fit and you use two pages to make the pocket. Again, you can use a paper bag if it suits you. You can use, um, you know, just plain paper. I like to reuse my book pages because I have so many of them. And so again, just cut it to size. If you use, um, you know, one page and you've done your measurements and it comes out, you know, how you need it to be, then you can use that base page as your um, template sort of. And here I'm just going to show you quickly how I'm just gonna cut it with a ruler. I don't even bother with scissors. <laughs> and again, um, you know, you make sure that it's fitting the inside of your envelope there. And because I'm making four pockets, I will need the four pages that we will be sticking together. So you see here how I've um, measured so that they fit within this um, square part of the holder. And now I'll show you again how I glue them together. If you saw my tutorial for the clutch ephemera um, purses, then you've done this with me already. So you know what, um, what we're doing here, but I'm just going to glue the two sides of the folded pocket or the folded um, page, which will make a pocket. Okay, so it's easy to do. You grab your measured piece of paper, you make a little pocket, and I'm going to do this four times for the four sheets that I'll be using for the accordion um, pieces here okay so again glue both sides and then you've got your opening at the top you don't need to glue the bottom because it's already closed with your fold so now we have our four pieces and you'll see here the tops are the pockets so now you glue them together to make the accordion part and all you do is add glue to the center again you can measure this or eyeball it I just eyeball it and you just add enough glue to hold those pages together. Make sure they're facing um, the same way. So the openings are facing the same way when you do this. And then you glue them in the center as I showed you. And I'll just do this again, just so that you see what I'm doing. Again, you glue the center. And then you attach the pages that you've already glued together to it. Now, again, I'm not being specific with measurements because of the size of papers that I used, but um, it's just a matter of fitting a pocket really within your folded, um, your folded little envelope there. So you see how that um, fits in it. And now we do the same thing. We just glue the center of the end of your pocket to the front of your little holder. Let's just call it ephemera holder or else I won't know what to call it. And you've glued that on to the front and then you do the same to the back. Just add glue to the center and then glue that closed. And that's as easy as it is, my friends. So now it's just a matter of decorating, adding your pockets, selecting your ephemera. Um, I will try to leave measurements in the description box below if you want specifics on how, you know, the, the little pockets were um, and see how it turned out. I think it's super adorable and I can't wait to fill them and just send them out in, uh, you know, in mail to my friends. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to check out the coupon codes below if you're interested in purchasing anything from Digital Collage Club. Thank you so much for joining me. I have lots more, more projects to share, so I will see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.